and I really felt like I wanted to die. From the time she was a little girl, 30-year-old Susan Farah lived in fear of a monster. The slightest noise would trigger it even more. The monster was in her head. Like 17 million other Americans, Susan suffered from excruciating migraine headaches. She looked healthy, but wasn't. Even friends assumed she was being self-indulgent. When you try to explain to them, I throw up, I see flashing lights, I have to be in the dark. They just say, just take a couple aspirins, you'll be okay. Aspirin? Susan had tried all the prescriptions, but nothing worked. Often trapped in her bedroom for days at a time, Susan lost hope. I just gave up. Then a friend told her about a new miracle cure, something only a handful of doctors around the country are using. Of course, I was like, oh, yeah, right. It wasn't a pill or surgery. It was something that in large doses can kill, Botox. The biological sibling of botulism is a deadly bacteria normally used to gently paralyze facial muscles and get rid of wrinkles. But Botox for headaches? It works. It, it just works. Beverly Hills cosmetic surgeon William Binder was treating patients for wrinkles yeah. when they began reporting their headaches were disappearing too. Would it work for Susan? She was skeptical about the new treatment. It's not yet FDA approved for migraines, but Susan was desperate enough to give it a shot. The next day, something amazing happened. I couldn't believe it. I was like, where are these headaches? For the first time in 13 years, the monster was gone. Susan calls it a miracle, but Dr. Ernestina Saxton, a UCLA neurologist, warns Botox can have serious side effects. We have to worry about real true paralysis. Some patients' necks become very, very weak and they can't lift their heads. But Dr. Binder says he's aware of only one side effect and it's a good one. It eliminates the wrinkles of the, uh, of the forehead. I like the side effect. 